Hey, Kevin, what are you reading? Hi. <laughs> Trying to learn something. Uh, had a question the other day. And the, uh, I didn't really know. So I thought, well, let me get on the, you know, the world's biggest library here. Let me go out to the internet and, and research it a little and see what I can find. The question was, what, uh, what machine for when? This guy's got a stick welder, you know, an arc welder, and he's also got a MIG welder. And he's, you know, fairly new to welding, and he was just curious. Okay, well, which machine do I use for what? When do I get on one over the other? And I thought, you know, that's really a damn good question. Arc welding, or shielded metal arc welding, SMAW, as opposed to MIG welding, or GMAW, which is gas metal arc welding. The arc welder uses electrodes. It's a solid metal core with flux on the outside of it that forms a shield over the weld as you're moving along to help protect the weld as it cools. And then you have to chip that, chip that uh, flux off of it. Is that why it's called stick welding? Because you're using a stick? You're using a stick. Yep. These come in uh, lots of different sizes, lots of different diameters. Anything from about a, about a sixteenth of an inch up to five sixteenths of an inch. That's just a little over a quarter inch. Uh, and for all different types of metal. They do come... They do come a little bit shorter but I've never seen one any longer. So this is about the longest you can weld without having to change out the electrode. With the MIG welder, you've got the big spool of wire in there. Anything from a little one pound spool up to a 30 pound spool. Heck, you could weld for four or five hours with that thing before you ever ran out of wire. Where the arc welder has the flux, the MIG welder has gas. So it's just an inert gas that goes down over the top of the weld to protect the weld as it cools. So you don't have to chip off all the flux. It's cleaner too, no, isn't it, it? It's cleaner, right. You know, there's, there's less cleanup to do. It's a cleaner looking weld. In my opinion, I think it's a little better weld over the stick welder just because you don't have the contamination issues of the flux and what have you floating around. So why would you use the arc welder? Well, I would use the arc welder if I was going outside or if it, I had all the doors open here and it was windy and I wanted to do something where the gas would blow away on the MIG. You don't have that problem with the stick. I would use stick welding for anything over say about a three-eighths of an inch in thickness, you know, big heavy plate. If I was you know, welded on this one-inch tabletop, definitely get out the stick. Get out the bigger rod, the bigger diameter rod. Turn that puppy up, you know, 150, 175, 200 amps, you know, whatever needed. Whatever I needed to do the job that I needed to do here, I would go with the stick for bigger metal, you know, the heavier metals and higher amperage than what the MIG will do. So that's why I would use the arc welder, you know, for that kind of work. The MIG for production work, for long runs, um, it's great for tacking, you know, where you got to hold a piece with one hand, you can grab the MIG, zap it. You can do the same with the stick, but again, you got more cleanup with the stick. The MIG's a little bit cleaner. Uh, I like the MIG because at least this MIG, I like this, this brand and I like this model because it has pulse welding. So I can turn the pulse welding on, which allows me to work with thinner metals than I can with the stick. You know, if I want to weld like on a, on a car door or something like that, I can do it with a MIG. I can't do it with a stick. It, it, it's just too messy. It's too much of a cleanup issue. What brand and model is that, Kev? Well, the, the uh, stick welder is, is an old Lincoln. Uh, AC-225, you know, so it's just an AC machine, so you need the proper rod for AC. Not a big deal, there's plenty of it. The MIG welder is a longevity MIG weld 250P, 
course, the P stands for pulse. This one is 250 amps. That one is 225 amps. Really comparable, you know, in, in what they can do. Just 25 amps difference. Uh, I prefer the MIG. You know, for what I do, for what I do, especially working on the bench here, if I'm doing some assembly out on the on the big lift table or something like that, more often than not, I've got the MIG out. It's got a nice long gun. I can push the machine away so I don't have to listen to it. I can always have the gun right there with me. Zap, 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 zap. Do the things I need to do. Hope that answers your question. I'll see you later.